Welcome to the Church of Thomas. China Justice, 81409. Now everybody knows that the products coming out of China for the last few years have been markedly substandard. Uh, we've had toys that had to be recalled because of lead paint, and toys get put in children's mouths, so of course they needed to be recalled. There was a uh, additive poisoning of cat food and dog food <coughs> that caused uh, kidney and liver shutdowns. Um, now ironically, the same additive which raises the perceived protein content <coughs> have been found in human products now. And every year the Chinese government says, oh, we didn't know, it won't happen again, trust us. This is a decade now that it has been going on. We don't regulate, we don't test, and we're getting poisoned. They don't care about us. Now the irony here is that <laughs> they had the same poisoning happen recently with milk products that were formula for small children. Now you have to understand a little bit of background here. The Chinese government mandated a draconian measure to keep their population from going haywire and exploding even faster than it already was by mandating every couple would only have one child. They even had mafia uh, Nazi brown shirt type people going in villages enforcing it and telling on people who looked like they were pregnant a second time and then the government would abort them. This wasn't the parents idea to abort them, this was the government idea of aborting them. This is a whole other issue but it shows their disregard for human life. They will do anything to stabilize their government and <clears throat> a rampant population was not in their best interest. So they did everything they could to control their population's growth. So now you have millions of people who are single children. And this is a second generation, so millions of these people are getting married. <clears throat> and starting to have their one child. And they're feeding their children formula because, you know, you can go back to work if you're not breastfeeding. Uh, and so these children start getting sick. And some of them died. And when they found out what was wrong, they just had a big old fit. Oh, this is terrible. But they still didn't do anything until the people said, hey, this is wrong. You've got to have justice here for our, you know, babies. And we can't have another baby and now we're left with a handicapped child. What the, what are you doing with us here? So they did what was politi politically expedient. They have mandated death sentences for all of the company heads who allowed these contaminants to be in the milk supply of China. Now, these are the same company execs that did this to uh, products that were shipped to Australia, the Philippines, the United States, Britain, etc., etc. But the only time that they took action was when it directly affected them. Now, Jesus had a uh, a verse for this. <clears throat> Mark 4, 24 and 25. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, you will be measured to you, and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. The weighing of scales of trade 
honest generosity, and even-handedness was represented by this verse. What Jesus was saying in this is, if there is a rule that something is wrong, then it needs to be applied to everyone. Justice is not selective. It is blind. It is compassionate, but it is just. When the Chinese government decided to finally punish someone, it may or may not stop what is happening in their country, but it shows that they're making an effort to their own people. But it's not justice, because basically they're not regulating anything that goes outside of their borders, and they will not punish those people who poison the products, items, knickknacks, toys, cat food that comes out of their borders. That once it leaves their borders, it's not their problem. It is time for us to put our foots down. If we want justice to be applied evenly, we need to say so. If we think that they are not honest because they've been lying for 10 years about trying to do something about this, we need to vote with our money. If it is a Chinese product and you can find an option that is produced someplace else, I encourage you to take it. They need to know that justice needs to be applied across the board. And even though they are not Christian, I hope that they understand that the way that they measure justice is the same standard that will be used to judge them. God bless the whole world. No exceptions. Angel of